Do you understand that I've been drinking all night? I'm not gonna be up by 8 a.m. to make breakfast. <laughs> Welcome to part two of manifesting a vacation. You guys, we're shopping our closet entirely. We did not buy anything new to do this video. These are no like new brand collaborations, no partnerships with any brands. This is us going through our closet and putting together looks for a vacation. So in part one, you saw me put together looks for a vacation dinner. So all of those looks were like nighttime looks, stuff that I would wear to dinner. And now in this video, these are all daytime looks. And um, the third video is going to be a few beach and pool looks. So if this is your first time coming to my channel, hopefully you consider subscribing and joining the family. You know I would love to have you, okay? Grab yourself a plate, make yourself comfortable, and you know, let's, let's get into it, okay? So again, you know me, I'm a Fashion Nova girly. Sometimes Fashion Nova gets on my nerves and sometimes I'm absolutely, like, I literally want to kiss their face. That's how much I love them, okay? There is no way you can go on vacation without having a few items from Fashion Nova, especially if you're a girl on a budget like I am, okay? So, this look, you know, I do feel like it needs some shoes. I might want to put on these. The only thing is, it's like I've already put my camera in the frame for like at my actual height. But these shoes um, are like some kind of like, you know, natural rattan type material shoes that I got from H&M for $35. And this dress, which I don't know if it's really a dress. I feel like you could, it's more so a tunic. I don't know. But I feel like it's, it's just a slightly longer shirt. But I feel like on vacation you can, um, you can, you can get away with it, okay? But this was from Fashion Nova. Y'all, I got this dress four years ago. Never worn it. Because I didn't know quite how to style it. But me personally, I think I'm most comfortable with how I have it styled right now. Which is with a bikini underneath and wearing it like it's a dress. No, this is not a cover up to me. This is a, like a daytime look. It's just it's so short that I want to make sure I have a bikini underneath. So I have on like this white bikini bottom um, from MAC collection and because this is a separate I don't have a bottom for this bikini so I'm wearing that together but yeah this is the first outfit I thought that this was really cute together just super effortlessly chic the earrings are also from Fashion Nova I got these for like three dollars and fifty cents or something you know me okay <laughs> Um, I think all that I'm missing is a few like dainty chains or even thick chunky chains like I feel like this look you could make it go either way and I do want to add that I have these also um, sandals that I got almost a year ago now they actually still sell these at H&M so go check your H&M um, and check these out um, and also they might still be selling these sandals too even though I got them over a year ago but you know, some items that are really popular at stores, they'll bring them back. So I think that this could also be a really cute look. These shoes like that, that's also really cute. Um, what could we do for a bag? Like, don't get me wrong. I totally think that you could wear this to the pool. Oh, see, it's already unraveling a little bit. It was like a little bit tighter before. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little crooked. But um, I also have this bag from Colt Gaia, I think is really cute. But you just have so many different options. Like, if I really wanted to make this look less beachy and like less cover up, I could even just use a regular purse as opposed to like a bigger bag. And we can do some sunglasses even. Um, eh. Oh, this is cute. This still has the tag on it, even though I got it sometime last year. But I got these from Target. These shades are super cute. These actually might be a little too bright. We might want to do something a little more muted. Uh, actually, let's go with these. These are like a Christian Dior dupe. 
that I got from Forever 21. I absolutely love these. So cute. And y'all, we can even do a hat. Like if we wanted to be real extra, y'all, we could do a hat. This hat I got from Target, you guys. Oh, so cute. I do think I would probably do different glasses though. This is adorable. I love a hat. I don't really, I don't know why I don't wear more hats. But yeah, that's the first look, you guys. Let me know what you think. You guys, we had to take a break and now it's hours later. So I apologize if the lighting is different in here now. Oh wait, hold on. I just turned on the, the ceiling light. Okay, Woo. I don't know what happened. I went and I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a lunch break. And it, now it's like literally been like two or three hours. <laughs> but we're back, we're back. Okay, so this is another daytime look. I absolutely love this dress. I got it on sale at Revolve last year. Still have never worn it. It's so gorgeous. Oh, well, let me put this tag in. Okay, um, I don't think I paid more than maybe $30 for it. It was like heavily discounted. And it looks so good with heels. Like I actually think that if I do wear this, um, and I probably will soon, um, I'm gonna probably wear it with white heels. Like, is it not giving? This is my favorite color, by the way. This kind of Kelly green is, I, I think it's perfect. And I really took a gamble on this dress because I didn't know what size to get. And I think that it's not bad. Like I think it fits pretty well considering how curvy I am and how you know much this dress probably isn't made for my body type based on the other like reviews that I saw on it. But I absolutely love it. And I have it paired with my $3.48 earrings that I got from Fashion Nova, of course. And you know what? I think I would probably pair this with like a really fun bag. Like here's another bag that I got from Lord & Taylor. I haven't worn this bag um, that often, but it's like a clutch. It's Steve Madden. And I got it years and years ago, like probably, I know I was still in grad school, so I probably had to have gotten this in maybe 2016, 2015, around that time. So a long periodically time. <laughs> and I think that, you know, adding something, you know, a little bit different would be really cute with this. Or I could do, you know, the white heels and then this like white clutch. That's like a straw type of material. Super cute. Has this gold chain here. But I really do love this color. And again, daytime look. Even though I don't think I have to wear this just on vacation, it is giving vacation vibes, but I'm probably gonna wear it maybe in a few weeks to like an art gallery. Um, one of my friends is hosting an art show. Um, like he's exhibiting his work. And then, hmm, what else could I wear this to? I think this would be great for dinner or like a night out as well, but I just think because of the color I wanted to wear it during the day. So let me know what y'all think. Here's another item from Fashion Nova. Would you guys believe me if I told you I've had this since maybe 2015 and I've never worn it, still has the tags on it. And the reason why I've never worn it is because it's so cute, but it's a little loud. Like I think that even though it's just like blue and white, I think between the stripes, the cleavage, the flare, I had a hard time figuring out how to wear it. And then also I was afraid that like something would pop out, but now I'm just like, I'm just gonna put on some pasties and call it a day, okay? And then also I was concerned about the length because I like my pants really long. Sorry, I'm gonna put on some heels so you see what I'm talking about. And I do wish that these were so long that even when I wore heels, they, the pants dusted the ground. They're, they're long, but I don't know. I, I feel like, sorry, I'm gonna 
sorry. I feel like maybe I need to just lose a little bit of weight or something because I feel like it's bunching up here and it would be like, you know, a better length if I wasn't so thick. I'm not sure. But we're not gonna blame the body, we're blaming the outfit, okay? We're blaming the clothes, okay? <laughs> I'm not taking any responsibility for how this fits, okay? But I do really, really like this. It's just, I haven't been able to figure out how to wear it for a combination of those reasons. Not sure if something's gonna pop out. I think it's a little bit loud, a lot of different things going on at once. And I wish it was a little bit longer. But for vacation purposes, I think this is like a great item to bring on vacation. I, just, I don't know why I haven't at least tried to see what I could do with it and bring it on vacation, but I have not. And that is my fault because it's, it's really cute. Sorry, I'm trying to see what shades I can pair with it. Like, is this cute, you guys, to pair these shades? I feel like it's giving so 70s now. That I, with the hair, the shades now, and like the flare at the bottom, it's cute. I like it, I like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Okay, we're moving on, we're moving on. The next item I got from H&M about a year or so ago, maybe, mm, I'm trying to think, maybe like a year and a half ago. Um, yeah, I just walked into an H&M. I was in South Carolina and I picked this up. It was only maybe like $10 and it's not really much to look at, but it's super lightweight, it's super comfortable. And if you're ever having like a moment where you're like, oh, I don't know what to wear, or I need to just, you know, head downstairs and grab something to eat, like breakfast is getting ready to close at 10 a.m. Cause you know, when you're on vacation, they make breakfast so freaking early. like. Oh, breakfast is from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. Do you understand that I've been drinking all night? I'm not gonna be up by 8 a.m. to make breakfast. So, look, if you wanna, there, there's just been plenty of time where I woke up, I set an alarm with like 10 minutes to spare, threw something on, headed, um, like if I was on a cruise ship, headed to the, like the diner area or like, if I was at a hotel, headed to the lobby and like grabbed something to eat and then went back to sleep and ate it up when I finished um, sleeping and woke back up. But yeah, this is just like the perfect thing to just throw on when you don't really know what to wear. It's, it is a little bit see-through, so you know, keep that in mind. Um, and I'm not gonna lie to you, even though this is super simple, it has like a sexiness to it. It's like very slinky, like, very just like molds the body. Um, and I think that, you know, with jewelry, shoes, you could totally dress this up. Like I have this very casual now, like I have it with those kind of clunky, like straw, um, ribbon type rope, sorry, that's the right. Um, these kind of clunky rope heels that I also got from H&M. I might've got these the same time that I got this dress. I might have. But yeah, super cozy, super comfy super lightweight like you literally can throw this in your bag like it's it's it weighs nothing at all so i wanted to throw this in the mix as a little daytime look because you know you need a few things like this in your um in your vacation bag like when you're packing so it's something you can just throw on this is another daytime look for me at least but it depends on where you're going because it is a little bit risque Normally I wear this with like um, chicken cutlets pasties underneath or like a nude color bra. Like, I don't know. I think the last time I wore this, I wore this with a strapless bra, like a nude color strapless bra. I was totally fine. I'm not wearing it today right now, but um, it, you know, it has a lot of holes and stuff in it. I'm also wearing some nude colored underwear, which like I said, comes in handy and makes you feel like you're not naked. <laughs> But the reason why I think this is a daytime look because like depending on where you're going, you might go to like a day party, you might, you know, go to the bar in your lobby and grab a drink or something. And I think this is just something cute, a very lightweight to throw on. You don't have to put too much effort into the look. Like you can dress this up and wear it with heels or a wedge, or you can just throw on some flats. Like who doesn't love a good flat sandal um, on vacation? And to be honest with you, if you're feeling frisky, 
I personally wouldn't do it, but you could totally put on some sneakers, like some Vans or something. Like I said, I wouldn't do it, but to each their own. But um, yeah, you know, we could throw it on with like a cute little purse and just go on about our business. Like we might even want to do, y'all know I'm trying to get use out of this cult Gaia bag. I love it so much and totally forgot to bring it with me when I, when I went to Mexico last year. So we've had this for a while now. It needs to get used, okay? But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. But like I said, it's not very much and it is exposing a lot, but depending on what you're doing during the day, you could totally, you know, throw this in the mix. Oh, did I say it was from Fashion Nova? from Fashion Nova like years and years and years ago. I probably got it on sale. Another item from Fashion Nova, these pants and this um, kind of strapless asymmetrical top that I got from Forever 21. I totally love this top. Y'all know, again, this is my favorite color, this kind of Kelly green. And um, I don't know, I don't know if I necessarily would pair this with this. It might, these pants are so loud, it might do better with just like a plain white top or even a t-shirt or something like that. It's giving Versace vibes. I really like these pants. The only problem I have with them is they are so long. Like, tall girls, stand up, because look how far this goes down. I personally think that all the women on the women's basketball team at LSU could wear these pants. Like, And they're also super um, stretchy. Like, this is a size small, and I don't know, like I, I feel like it fits really well and it's a size small and I'm every bit of a medium large all the time. Like I said, I'm 5'5", five, five, 172 pounds. I'm not a small in, in any universe. I'm never, I'm never a small, <laughs> but this is a small and um, I'm glad that I got a small. I wonder if I could have fit an extra small, probably not, I don't know. But I really do like these pants. I don't know what I would wear with them for shoes. I've never worn these pants before. I I do, I don't know, I do think it would look good with like, maybe like a denim shoe. I do have a few heels that are denim. I mean, I could probably do denim. And these white heels, they don't look that bad with it. But I think that there's probably something that could do it like more justice. It's just, they're so loud. Like it's definitely giving Versace or, Ver, how do you say it? Ver, is it Versace? But when Johnny Versace was still alive, like back in the 90s child, like this is giving all the vibes. So let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comments. I, I just think this is a great daytime look. Again, when you're going to grab some drinks, you know, heading downstairs, um, the hotel lobby grabbing some drinks or day party vibes and let's be real you could wear this into the night too it's a very loud outfit and you could make it even louder if you wanted like you could put a bunch of gold chains some vintage Versace jewelry vintage Chanel jewelry and totally make this like a loud like drug dealer wife chic look um, or kind of like Miami Vice like you know what I mean it's giving that but yeah, I like it. And we're gonna move on to the next look. I put this as an outfit option because sometimes we just like really don't wanna be bothered. We wanna be super casual. So I just put a pair of skinny jeans in this really cute like satin cow neck top from Zara. And it's backless. You know, you don't even have to wear a bra with it if you don't want to. Sorry, I'm trying to tuck the tag in. Did it go? No, I just tucked it out. But you don't even have to wear a bra with this if you don't want to. Like, it's totally optional. You can just have the titties flopping around or you can wear like the chicken cutlets, you know, depending on how you feel. But I just thought that this would be something a little bit cute, a little bit casual, a little bit comfy. We can throw on a little clutch with it. We can even wear our flats if we want. Like I have these super cute, very shiny flats. They have like little tiny rhinestones on them. I got them from Target. Maybe if I put the light closer, you can see. So cute, right? And these couldn't have been more than like 20 something dollars. Um, yeah, they were 
and I think I got them like 20% off. So yeah, this is just a little cute, comfy, casual look for a day that we just don't want to be bothered, okay? And it's daytime. Especially if we're in the AC because, yeah, we're on vacation, we're expecting to be super tropical, but let's be real, sometimes when you're on the cruise ships and you're in the hotels, like, they blast that AC and you be freezing, you know? So sometimes you wanna put on a little bit more clothes, okay? So, <gasps> this would be super cute with it too. Like this clutch, you guys remember this, this denim clutch? Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, that's cute. It's just like, I, I'm, I don't really care. I'm just throwing something on, but I still look cute. Oh. And you guys, I also have this kind of um, bandage skirt. It's Herve, Le Herve Legere. They did a, a collab. Y'all remember how expensive those dresses were in like, from maybe like 2008 to like 2012? Those dresses were like $1,200 a piece. And they still kind of are, but they're not as popular as they were. Kim Kardashian made them super popular because back then, um, even though that wasn't that long ago, the whole body conscious dress, like there wasn't, there wasn't like everybody wasn't wearing super skin fitted clothing like that, especially in the luxury department. At least I don't remember um, that, okay? And then when people started getting their body done and all the BBLs and the liposuction became more mainstream and accessible to everyone, I feel like people started wearing a lot more form fitting clothing and Herve Legere just got so popular, like so, so popular. And um, it was crazy to see a collaboration with Forever 21 because I was able to pick this skirt up for like $9 and it's pretty decent quality. I um, have tried on a few real Herve Legere items, like not any collaborations, and they're much thicker than this. But I will say for $9, I'm very happy with the quality. And I just wanted to throw this on to show you guys that you could totally dress this top up if you wanted to. Like, you don't have to wear it casual. You can bring, like, another bottom instead of the jeans. Like, you know, a skirt or, or I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, what other bottom options do we have? <laughs> like, even a white pants would do well with this and just make it a little bit more upscale, you know? So, yeah, just wanted to show you that. You guys, this is probably one of my favorite vacation items I have in my closet. I bought it last year on sale. I was influenced by the influencer Monroe Steele. She's a gorgeous black woman um, who lives between Miami and Harlem in New York. And I just, I saw her wearing this one day and I was like, oh my gosh. And it's by the black owned brand, female black owned brand too, Hanifa. And I love Hanifa and I've been dying to get an item from Hanifa, but everything I always wanted was always like sold out. So I don't know. I just was like, oh, okay, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So when I saw this item, my jaw was like on the floor. And I was like, you know what? I think even with my small bust, I can pull something like this off. So I went on her website and y'all, this was on sale. So I think I saved maybe like 30% off. It was still a pretty penny. Hanifa's stuff is not cheap. Um, but I will say for like more luxury items, I would say it's really affordable considering because I think that this maybe was like $200. I wish I knew how much I paid for this. If there are any tags, I don't know. But um, I've had this for quite some time and I never got a chance to wear it. And I'm like, this item deserves its moment, okay? It really does. And I just like, are you kidding? Like, look closely. There, Unfortunately, there isn't like the right way to wear a bra with this, but I'm totally fine like letting the nipple go. If you can't appreciate this outfit and wanna focus on the fact that my nipples are peeking through, like, that's your problem, okay? I have on some nude underwear, okay? And um, look at like the quality. It's like crochet stitching. Oh my gosh. And I just realized it it's like shining under the light. Like there's something shiny. Is it, is that elastic? 
I don't know what what it is, but there's something under the light that's like making it shine. I don't know. So I literally, I love it. Like this is one of my dream outfits. Like if my place was on fire, there's a few things that I would grab. And like, this is something I would grab, even though I've never worn it before in my life. I don't, I just, oh, oh, okay. And I just think that this is such a moment on its own. You don't really need much else. Like I would do the most with my accessories, probably like my earrings. Like it doesn't look bad with the earrings that I have on now. Um, but I wouldn't do too much of a hat and like, you know, and like fancy shoes. Like I would keep it very minimal and just do the most with like maybe some chains, some earrings, some rings. I, would, I just want to let the outfit do the talking, okay? Yeah. Love it. Okay, we're moving on to the next thing. Y'all, it's getting so dark. I'm going to have to turn on some more lights after this. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. I feel like that helped a little bit. This is one of the last few items. If y'all saw my maxi dress collection, y'all know how I feel about this dress. This is such a gorgeous dress. It's so comfy. It's so sexy. Like, look at the back. So cute. Um, of course, from Fashion Nova. I'm telling you, when you stumble across a gem in the sales section of Fashion Nova, you feel like you hit the lottery because some stuff is such a miss that when you find a hit, this was a hit, okay? I've had this dress for years. I think I bought this dress maybe 2017, 2016. And I've only worn it a handful of times, but I just think that this dress is so interesting from the way that it's cut, the side cuts, the way that it's two pieces of fabric connected by this one piece of material here, the way that it falls in the back, the way that the back is completely covered except for this area, which makes it so sexy. I love the tie dye print. And I know I probably didn't pay more than like 12 or $14 for this dress. And the fact that it's like stood the test of time. And if I wanted to wear heels with this, I totally could. And even, you know, I like my dresses to graze the ground, especially my sundresses. That's one of like my cardinal rules for sundress season. The sundress has to, has to cover your ankles, okay? And even if I wasn't, uh, you know, 5'5", five, five, if I was like 5'9 or 6 feet, I still feel like this would totally eat. Like... This is tall girl friendly, okay? So, bam, 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 bam. Okay. Fashion Nova knows what they're doing when it comes to the stretchy like maxi dresses. Absolutely adore this. And it's gonna stay in my collection forever. This is the last and final item. Is that the same thing? This is the final item, okay, you guys? This is also another maxi dress that I purchased from Fashion Nova last year, about a year and a half ago. I've already worn this dress a few times and I really love it. It's super simple, but I think the cutout, that little sliver of skin that it shows in the back just makes this such a sexy dress. And it really gives you like a ghetto booty. Like when I'm talking about, you see all the jiggle, oh my gosh, like, People out here losing their mind when you wear a dress like this, okay? So, look, you may think it looks super safe, like it's almost giving like, you know, mom. But then when you turn around, it's giving ghetto booty, okay? And this was also part of my sundress collection haul video. Um, I'll Maybe I'll link that video. I'll, I'll link that too. Um, or I'll leave that on the end card so you guys can check out that video as well because I just love a maxi dress. I love a sundress. This is long. I love the colors, yellow and blue. This isn't really something I would normally wear, but I don't know. It just works for me. And I love the tie dye as well. And of course, this was something I got in the sales section at Fashion Nova. So when I'm telling you, when you find something, you feel so lucky. Like, oh, this was, this is just it. I love this. And again, I think this is another great daytime look that can kind of go into the evening, but I just, I love a maxi dress, okay? You feel like a breeze, you know, it doesn't show too much, it's sexy, you're covered, like, it's just, 
it's just you're just serving body when you wear a good sundress okay like and nothing else like it's not showing a ton of skin it's not doing too much like it's just letting you and your inner light shine you don't have to wear any heels with a sundress you don't have to wear any makeup with a sundress because it's so effortless and it makes you look so good like I feel like the perfect sundress just makes you look like the best version of yourself you can literally have your hair tied in a bun no makeup on wearing some flip-flops but the sundress is gonna do all the talking for you okay so I hope you enjoyed this video we're still manifesting a vacation this is the second video in the series the third and final of the triad or triad is going to be um, showing some bathing suits and like cover-ups so basically some beach and some pool looks okay and that video I'm hoping it's gonna be a shorter video but I knew that there was no way I was gonna make this one long video. There's no way you guys are gonna sit there and watch like an hour and a half worth of content. So I'm breaking it up, okay? But yeah, let me know what you guys think. And if you're manifesting a vacation, I'm manifesting it along with you. These past few months, weeks, whatever you call it, have been really difficult. And I just wanna get away. I wanna get away. And I don't know. It, it's crazy as it may sound, shopping my closet, looking and seeing what I've already had, already changed my mood. And I, I don't even know how that's possible. But like me touching these like vacation clothes, making me feel like I can go on vacation just made me feel so much better. Ugh, even if we don't have go on vacation, we can still take some of these looks and go to the pool, okay? Most of us are, have at least a pool that's accessible to us, depending on where you live, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. My bougie booze. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm that same old body with the skis. In a bit tough fit, got a shop on the hood of my cup and the ape of my tea. Been a minute since I linked with the bro, said link up soon. Let's talk over tea. These days it's all about.